Umsum was playing in the garden when he tripped and scraped his knee. It stung for a moment, and a thin red line appeared on his skin. A few drops of blood trickled out, but after a few days the wound began to close on its own. <laughs> Amazed, he wondered, why do our wounds heal? Determined to find out, Umsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed near the injured spot on his knee. White blood cells and platelets were rushing toward the wound like rescuers on a mission. The platelets arrived first. They quickly formed a soft, sticky layer across the cut, creating a clot that stopped the bleeding. Then, the white blood cells moved in. They swallowed any dirt or germs that had entered, protecting the wound from infection. Then, beneath the clot, skin cells called fibroblasts started building fresh tissue made of collagen. Slowly, this new tissue began to fill in the gap left by the injury. The edges of the skin started to pull closer together, like a zipper closing. Over the next few days, the clot on the surface dried and turned into a scab. It acted like a shield, covering the delicate new tissue underneath while it continued to grow. Eventually, the scab loosened and fell off, revealing smooth pink skin underneath. Leaping back outside, Umsum smiled proudly.